All right, I'm doing this under the Fair Use Act, and uh, this guy is making some statements here that tie in with a bunch of other statements and other texts and other research that I have done that indicates that the whole thing ties together. Now, I'm going to let him speak, but I'm doing this under the Fair Use Act. There's no profit for me. I don't want to make any money on this. I just want it to be understood. All right, so listen to what he has to say, and this is about the Chinese and their documents that are, are very, very well recorded over the course of their entire history. So it goes back 4,500 years. Now, for the first 2,500 years, he's saying that they were literally Christians. And I believe that he's correct because every single word that he can show and, and describe and show all of these characters and texts and another uh, Chinese guy has shown the same thing and they've gone back into the documents and they say this exact same words that are in the Old Testament virtually. Now, I'm going to show you, listen to what he has to say and then we'll go from there. All right, here we go. Record in the astronomy records of the book of the Han Dynasty and it's actually dated the 9th of March, 5 BC. That's critical. And translated, it reads, in the second month of the second year of Jiangping, the comet was out of Altair, which is a star, for more than 70 days. Imagine a comet in the sky for more than 70 days. And the Chinese say it is said that comets appear to signify the old being replaced by the new. Altair, the sun, the moon and the five stars are in movement to signify the beginning of a new epoch, the beginning of a new year, a new month and a new day. Now, Altair is a star in the constellation of Aquila. And Altair is the brightest star in the constellation of Aquila. And the Chinese astronomers said this comet that appeared for more than 70 days came out of this star. Well, that's All right, I'm going to stop it right there. There's no need to go too much further with this. What he is claiming is, and the text back this up, that there was a 70-day comet as bright as the sun traveling across the sky, and he's saying that this was the star of Bethlehem that led these guys to Jesus. So... Let's come out here somewhere. Let's go out here. Now, this is in 5 BC. So, this is the time when he's saying Jesus was born. Indicates that this is of great importance. Now, if you calculate more than 70 days from the 9th of March, it'll bring you into around mid to late May. So, this thing was in the sky from the 9th of March to around the middle of late May. Which is the warmer time of the year for Israel. We've always said as a church that Jesus was not born in December because it was too cold. The Chinese, not knowing what they were observing, saw a comet in the sky for more than 70 days from March through to May. The end of March in Israel is the beginning of summer. And it goes all the way through to October. Here's another record in the uh, Chronicles now, of this Emperor is, Guan Wu. This is Jesus' death. It's dated 31 AD. Translated, it reads, <coughs> Summer, fourth month of the year on the day of Ren Wu. The imperial edict reads, Yin and Yang, darkness and light, have mistakenly switched, and the sun and the moon were eclipsed. The sins of all the people are now on one man. Can you imagine this? Pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. The Chinese had no idea about Jesus in 31 AD. No Christian missionary would have gone to China because Jesus had just died. There weren't any Christian missionaries. And yet in their soul, in their spirit, they recorded this incredible statement in their history of the latter Han dynasty and in their soul they said there's this mysterious unexpected darkening of the sun 
The listen sins of all the people are upon one man. Listen to this dark and pardon the is sun. proclaimed to all under heaven. They didn't know what they were writing. And it says here in the annals number 18 of Gui Hai, Eclipse on the day of Gui Hai, man from heaven died. They had no idea what they were writing. This is this blows my mind. But the Holy Spirit would have spoken to those Chinese astronomers and the Emperor, and in their soul, in their heart, they sensed that this unexpected darkening that lasted for three hours had something to do with a man in heaven dying, from heaven dying, and pardon for the sins of the world. The Bible tells us it was about the sixth hour and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Three days later, the Chinese recorded a rainbow that encircled the sun like a halo. During the reign of Emperor Guangwu on the day of Bing, Bing Yin of the fourth month of Jian Wu, a halo, a rainbow encircled the sun. And that's found in the history of the latter Han, Annals number 18. And that is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I put it to you this morning, folks, that the ancient Chinese recorded the date of Christ's birth, the date of his death, and the date of his resurrection. That's, Here is a typical... That recall. says it all. I don't know what else to say. Uh, there's another Chinese guy that's gone through all of the same things and he's he shows that even this Chinese writing is all based on biblical texts like um, temptation shows two people in a garden being tempted by a snake uh, all I mean it's just so replete with the Chinese I mean the uh, Christian symbolism of the Old Testament, it's, a, you, it's just mind-boggling. So, the thing that happened was at 5 BC, I'm going to show you what happened. Hold on a second. 